Hey everybody, it's Amy Ness here for the Friday follow-up and I'm coming to you live from my neighborhood. Hey, you guys are thinking, yeah, wasn't there a house for sale out in your neighborhood? Didn't you take us out on a tour of the backyard so that we could see the river and we could see all the cool things about it? Well, yeah, actually I did bring you out here and the house has begun the process of being sold. It is sale pending and it will be closing in about a week. And so I will be getting some new neighbors and the process of becoming a new neighbor is a lot of fun. I'll get to introduce them to the neighborhood, meet some new people, and I'm pretty excited about that. One of the things with neighbors is everybody has one. Whether you live out in the country and you live miles and miles apart, you still have a neighbor that you know because as natural in the world, everybody wants to know somebody in case something happens, in case they need something, or in general because they like to help other people and be around other people too. So your neighbor may be a couple miles down the road. Your neighbor might be right next door about 18 to 20 feet away. They could be just about anywhere and so it's really good to get to know your neighbors. In fact, you just never really know when a neighbor might be moving. So one of the things I wanted to talk to you guys about today is be helpful to your neighbors. Know if they're in need. If they need something from you or if they have any questions or anything at all, it's always good to do that. Also, if you want to be on the lookout for me for ways that I can help them, that would be great too. A lot of triggers or ways for you to know when somebody is in need of help from me would be if, say, hmm, they had a change in their life, whether it be a job change, they were having a baby, they got married, they had a divorce, somebody was downsizing because the house they had was way too big, or somebody that was upsizing because they needed more space. And so those are big things that happen in lives for people, so I would want to be able to help them out too. So I thought I'd share with you guys a little bit about neighbors today. And as far as the week goes, we had a bunch of closings, a first time home buyer. We also had some clients that were selling in order to move to the beach. Can you imagine how exciting would that be? So we worked with those guys this week and a family that had a new construction build that they had. We helped them sell their home. It has been super busy and I've been super happy that we've all been able to help each other out so much. As far as running, I have really been stacking up my training. I've been out at the gym a lot more. If you're out there at 5, 5.30, 6 o'clock, 7.30, you might see me here and there. And I'm really enjoying getting stronger and stronger every day. I'm switching it up a little bit. You'll notice I'll be doing more running than any of the cardio stuff and stacking on more weights so that I can be big, tough, and strong. And that's to support all the running that I'm doing. I have begun my training program for the full marathon that I'll be running in October. So if you wanna know, it's gonna be October 8th and I'm gonna be running the Chicago Full Marathon. And in just a matter of days on the 11th, I will be out running the She Power Half Marathon in Indianapolis. And I'm really looking forward to that too. Other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. The weather is great. Get outside, go for a walk, even just for a couple minutes so that you can enjoy this beautiful weather we're having. Have a great weekend. I'm so glad we were able to get together. Thanks.